Hi everyone, this is Sunit. In this video, to discuss the layers of the mind. Hmm, what does that mean? Now, let's have a look at your everyday life thoughts. Everyday life thoughts, meaning the things that occupy and preoccupy your mind right here. You know, those things that come up in your head that you can't help but not see because they're right here. And you sometimes so often shift, you know, inside yourself into this reality We are getting things done and you're moving, but then the next moment you're back into this little reality. And there's all these thoughts and inner dialogue and experiences and projections coming up. Let's say, for example, that um, you can't help but think about money. And it is weighing on your shoulders and your back and you're just having a look at all the different accounts, um, obligations, um, payments, food, gas, rent, kids, everything, day in and day out. For anyone in this world, an exercise. Do a daily diary, a daily money diary of how much and how often and how emotionally Uh, do you think about money within and throughout your day? And also what I would like you to do is to see if you can define the energy in which you do it with, the energy meaning the emotion, the experience, the state. Thinking about money puts you in on an inner level and physical level. What is so extraordinary um, that I have uh, noticed about different people. Let's take money, for example, in this context of stressing about it, fearing it, being emotional, worrying, anxious. Um, Obviously, it's not 24-7, but man, when you start thinking about money, you've got that familiar... So, for, For me, for example, personally, in the past, when that came up, it felt like this cold rush of iciness coming through my whole body, like circling in, like a tornado, gripping my heart, knotting up my stomach, pulling my shoulders tight, feeling like putting a rock on me at the same time. That was me in relation to money. And it came into different intensities. Sometimes it was subtle, other times a lot more intense, depending on where I was at and what was happening. But a good thing for you to do is to start identifying and defining your emotional energy physical relationship when it comes to stressing about money why you will notice something interesting if this is something that you do entertain you know inside yourself day in and day out that you have actually conditioned a constant continuous state of stress anxiety and fear into your body and that you're actually in that energy most of the time if not all of the time. This is something that I've realized in my process, where we sometimes take things at face value that comes up in here all the time that we can't miss, so much so that we lose touch of what is happening here and here inside the depths of ourselves and our bodies. It's like what comes up in here is a distraction. The actual root of the problem is deeper within us and our bodies. How so? I once came to an extraordinary realization that I asked myself this very question I'm asking you now because my process of this started with money. It doesn't necessarily have to be money. It can be anything or anyone else. It could even be your marriage. It could be your children that you're worried about, stressed about. You can't stop worrying and stressing. It's like that something in here that's become so automatic, so natural, so acceptable that you don't even question it. You just try and deal with it and manage it and cope with it day in and day out. But what's actually busy happening, and if you go back and see how long you've been accepting and allowing it, I realize I've suddenly been doing it for months, more, maybe a year or more, close to two at that time. I was like, wait. How is this possible? How could I have stayed in the state for almost two years and not questioned it, not looked at it? 
Then I went through the mind layers, the deeper layers, everyone, where we get so lost in what comes up only here, we forget to also check in with here, with our bodies. And I realized I had all this time been conditioning my body to exist in a constant state of stress and fear. That because my body and so myself was in that constant state of stress and fear over and over and over again, what would automatically then start coming up is anything and everything I connected to stress energy or fear energy or emotional energy or negative energy. And before I, kn I knew it, my whole mind was just bringing up problems, issues, consequences here, there, everywhere, in me and everything and everyone until I finally realized, you know, it wasn't, yes, it was as much as working with what came up here, I also had to work with what I was conditioning my body into. Because now look at this fascinating equation. If you are in your body, in yourself, in your relationship with your physical, conditioned into a state of calm, of rest, of hereness, of stability, of groundedness, who will you be then within yourself? Who will you be in your life, your everyday life, the moments? It all exists in the principle of who you are is what you create. I mean, yes, we do create in, in terms of what comes up in our heads, but if you are on a physical level in a constant state, if who you are is stress, anxiety, fear, petrification, anxiety, then that who you are is going to create who you are here as well. So when I started making this change, everyone, of keeping tabs on the moment something starts repeating in here, the same exact thing over and over and over again for months, red flag, there's a problem. Because now the issue is not only so much this anymore, it's the fact that the energy that I've created this with is now also in my body. My body's been conditioned into it and it's actually just recycling the same energy, the same experience, the same thoughts over and over and over again. So what I do is work with this as much as I can, but also realizing that the most of the work is to be done here. I need to be aware of my breath, my body, me. Am I putting my going into a stress state in my body in a moment that's actually bringing out stressors inside a consciousness level? So it's all, there's also that reverse effect that can happen. Now sometimes, yes, our thoughts create our physical experience, but if you've been conditioning your body, your physical experience can create your thoughts. All right, so this video, a reminder for everyone to how to source what you've conditioned into your body. The experiences you've conditioned into your body is having a look at what's been repeating in this for days or weeks and months on end. Source the energy behind it, what's the emotions, and be more aware of your body movements in your everyday life. Bring your awareness as much as you can back to yourself, your body. So I would sometimes be finding I'm sitting with clenched fists and I wouldn't even realize it. I would be clenching my jaws I would be sitting like this all of a sudden, and then I would deliberately have to relax my body. It's like how I've conditioned my body to move in energy over time. Because of getting so lost in this, I forgot about this. All right, everyone. So this video to assist and support with expanding your awareness, not only into your mind process, but also your physical process. Thank you very much.